Hello, welcome back to Blender Session Live. In this episode, I want to try the latest version of Dream Textures add-on for Blender. Uh, so there's a couple of uh, different version now with the Mac OS, for example, the one I'm using. You can apparently use it uh, with Intel Mac and that will work, but you need to have Dream Studio account. So it's gonna be connected online into Dream Studio account. If you want to do it locally, you still need this version uh, with M1 or M2, you need M1 or M2 machine and you can run it locally or if you want to do cloud rendering uh, alone, you can use just the Dream Studio version. So the setup uh, with the local version, you will need uh, some stable diffusion model, whether it's version 1.4 or 1.5 or the custom fine tune model. <clears throat> There's a um, Oh, if you are using Dream Studio online, you need to have API key. I will actually just gonna start that. I will be using Blender uh, 3.3 for now. So when you download a versions, uh, for example, this this Dream Studio, uh, I mean the ones for Dream Studio, you're gonna get a zip file, right? Normally we with Mac, if you download something, it's gonna quickly delete the zip and then just replace it with the with the folder with the actual files. But you actually want to have the zip version, so bring it back from recycle bin. So in Blender, you just go to Edit Preferences, Installed, Downloads, find the zip, Dream Studio, just install. Once you install the add-on, it's gonna ask you to have the key. So you need to find the key, right? Uh, in order for this to work, because this is the, the online Dream Studio only version. So it's gonna take you to Dream Studio. You're gonna need to log in. You're gonna need to have your API and just copy and paste it here. Uh, I'm gonna paste it, but I'm gonna make it smaller so you cannot see. Once you do that, it should gonna work. Say preferences. And if you jump into the image editor, you're gonna find dream texture over here. Okay, now hopefully this just gonna work. <clears throat> By default, the width and height is set to 512 and 512 as usual. Uh, let's try a kid and his dog playing. Or at Green Hill. Generate. It's gonna send the job online. You request activated. What's? Oh, safety filter. Okay. Maybe. See if you can't use a kid. <laughs> just use a robot. Broken pipe. What does this mean? Playing. Soccer ball. Oh yeah, by the way, by default, the prom also uh, set to texture. Maybe you want to change this to photograph. Maybe generate broken pipe. Hmm, that's really weird. Let's save this very quickly. Test dream. Since this is pre-release, maybe it's uh, it's not working properly. I have to try, maybe using Blender uh, 3.4. Okay, let's try Blender 3.4. With 3.4, actually, uh, I already have this installed. So Dream Studio, Dream Textures, and since I don't have the this optional, I don't have the key set up. Um, I'm using my own model with the latest version the cool thing is that you can import um, your if you have more than a sim, uh, single models you can have multiple models that you can pick here and also with the latest version you will see that you can actually do like a batch let's see let me show you um, this one 
file batch and iteration. This is actually pretty cool. Um, you can have a text prompt and you can generate prompt that you can use with the with the model of AI that you want to use. So since okay, I I have this running, but I think it's it's probably gonna be pretty slow. But I want to activate the I want to activate this key. So I'm just gonna paste this something paste here. Okay. It should work. Save. Now I should be able to generate something from the dream. Okay, uh, robot humanoid running up the hill. Set this to maybe photography. Generate importing dependencies. Okay, while this one is oh okay, actually this one is running it locally. There should be a simpler option here. Okay, we can switch to Dream Studio. But now it's running it locally, so it, it, it might take a while. I will reload the other one. I want to show you something actually, uh, maybe like like a random, totally random trick um, with Sverchok. I'm using Sverchok add-ons and nodes. And this is just so that we can generate like a, like a text prom list without actually using programming. I mean, you can use Python and scripting uh, to do this, but let me show you very quickly. Um, let's do this text revisiting. Yeah, I, I tried this last night. Might be scary at first, but let's take a look. So, okay, so we have, we have this text output, okay. And I'm gonna generate this text using Sverchok nodes, okay? So it might be some some kind of really weird way to generate text, but this this is actually gonna work, okay? Uh, I have a bunch of text over here. This one is like a verb: eat, sleep, run, climb, dream. Second one: man, woman, dog. The subject. Subject, verb, and this is just the locations where this subject's gonna be doing this. Okay, so we are using this uh, nodes that's dealing with string or text inside Sverchok, inside Blender, and we are we should be able to quickly generate a sentence like a man climbing tree, dog sleep on a tree. Yeah, this we're gonna use this text to generate our dream. Okay, so it's uh, this is the text out of Sverchok, and I enable auto dump, so it's keep dumping it into this text field. And so, by using this method, we can generate some kind of random prompt. Currently, it's like a list. If I'm not wrong, you can actually unwrap this list and then put it into lines but we're gonna do that using python okay so it's gonna be fun so this is a bunch of lists of sentence right and i'm using python scripting just to unpack the text so list so that's my list <clears throat> there's 10 of them so i will tell blender for using for loop for i in list for every item in list a b c equal the item and then print a b c 
that's how I'm I'm unpacking this this prom anyway. So I'm just so now we have this list that we can use. Let's just try and sending this now to the image. It's a pretty weird way to to work with a dream, but let's try. Texture is gonna be photography. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Dog dream home. We can just type this because it's a very simple text. Sending this to Dream Studio. Wait for a few seconds or few minutes. <laughs> we get a result. So I'm pretty lucky. We can change <laughs> this uh, framing. Let's try medium, medium shot position film, uh, Polaroid. Yeah, this is the nice thing about Dream uh, Dream Texture add-on in Blender. Okay, this is too far away from the dog. Drop sleeping and dreaming. I changed the prom. Now let's reload the dream. Okay, we get a dog. We can be more specific with the prom. Remember, every time we generate, we actually use a different seed. You 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 requested activated dream to do. Oh man, safety filter actually sucks. Yeah, I have to tell you. Ah uh, well, list out of frame. So there's a lot of weird things happening. Okay, this one works. If we didn't use photography, we don't have all these options. But I quite like this, even though it's a, it's too. Yeah. Okay, this one is kind of nice. Let's save this. Photography file batch, file batch. It's not working yet with the current version. I, I test it. Otherwise, we can just copy paste from the from this list, and then it's gonna do a batch for us. For now, so let's just do like other things. Concept, sci-fi, corgi. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. It's using similar image. That's nice. Environment, sci-fi, cyberpunk. You see the result is almost instant. <laughs> it's it like take a second or or even less than that. So this is just another ideas that we can work with. So let's say we have these fruits, banana, mango, papaya, orange. So I have this bunch of fruits, right? I can split the, t the text and then I'm using string tools. Just replace this sentence. Old man eating fruit. Just replace the fruit with all with this item and then put the the result. <clears throat> we can actually do this kind of thing using Sverjo or inside Blender. Now we have this old man eating papaya, old man eating mango, yeah, etc. Of course, this is just a simple list. You can just iterate for I in list. Between I, right? With this list, you get a batch that you can run. You can make hundred of these with random, some kind of randomness. So, old man eating mango in a pub. At a pub, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes the sentence doesn't matter. You can always improve the prom. Yeah, old man eating mangoes. In inside a pub, old man and a corgi eating a mango. Environment cinematic. This is how fast and cool uh, the, the process is. If we, if they were if the AI actually running this like okay the the height doesn't seem to work. So there's a lot of weird things. Let's check. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one that we created earlier. So this is a test local dream texture. 
So this one is running locally. I can actually change the model if I want to. This is using Stable Diffusion version 1.5, a robot running up the mountain. Yeah, extreme close up. That's cool. Golden hour, black and white. Let's change this to cinematic. The height 768. Uh, robot man running up the mountain. You can have a better prompt. Uh, red Mars Mountain. The Red Mars Mountain, or yeah, try this. If we can copy paste from one blender to another blender, maybe we can do that. But I still like this corgi and the old man. Let's try a different one. Fantasy. 512 by 512 seems to be the one that's working. Ah, uh, yeah. F I don't like it when the Dream Studio does that. Okay, this is just too corgi. With the Dream Texture, whenever you generate something, the result's gonna be using the seed number, if I'm not wrong. And it's gonna be saved with the blend file. We can replace mango with something else. We can replace the old man with something else. Old man, let's try. Old lady and a corgi. So you can make like a, you can dream up story very, very quickly. Old lady eating durian looks like old lady and a cat and a black cat eating durian inside a pub we smell it but you see <laughs> we get a or some kind of ghost over here but uh this is really interesting right so you can also up res if i'm not wrong you can up resolution you can use in painting but i haven't tried that but I, so far I just been doing this environment character cyberpunk. Sometimes when I generate, yeah, it responds. But sometimes slow. Maybe because I'm running the other blender and it's calculate. You see the steps. This usually takes around four minutes. Unfortunately, it's not as fast as Diffusion B, for example. Maybe it's going to be faster. Uh, now we're entering the cyberpunk mode. History here. Let's try sci-fi. Sci-fi sci -fi environment. So now we it's kind of like a witch lady with a cat. It's just pretty cool. And now we have the old man and the, the witch. I don't know why. It seems kind of mixing itself. Now we have a cat. So this is running at 25, 20, 25 steps by default with random seed. You can actually keep the same seed. Sampler is KLMS. Iteration, I haven't used this. How many image? Do Oh, okay, you can actually generate four at the same time, but I'm not gonna do that. Concept art, okay, let's change this to. If we change this to texture, you see what's gonna happen. That's cool, actually. Old lady and durian and a cat. If the texture mode is turned on and then you enable uh, seamless. In this version, we cannot have seamless, anything. so don't use texture, maybe just use photograph. I like photograph and the different lenses and different filter. Teleport, shooting context, studio outdoor, photograph, lighting, lightning, dramatic light. Generate. Ah, we get illustration. Okay, that's better. Just gonna keep doing this until until we have uh, 
this is overhead view wow that angle until we run out of credits at dream studio i guess that's cool that looks like a photograph of a grandma eating durians her cat old lady and old man and their cat telephoto macro white uh, white angle let's try white angles now we have illustration okay so this string texting uh, you want to maybe play around with these ideas there is a one thing about sphere chalk is that we have these string tools geometry nodes probably don't have all the, all of this but we can basically split a single sentence with separated by space into each separated item and then we can combine it this way using list item and random value we can randomize the text so there's many ways to do this. You can also use scripting, but maybe in the future we just use AI inside Blender. Uh, old man. Yeah, okay, let's say instead of old lady and old man, old couple. Maybe fancy, fancy, should I put fancy? Now ah. ah, we have a couple dressing fancily, spending time with the cat, eating durians. It's kind of a dream. In reality, I mean, it, with a some kind of training you can use your own model and then you use your own face um, if you train the model on your face I think so you can generate all these dreams using AI so there's Apple old woman old lady and the uh, black cat. you see this is like endless 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 doing things this one's taking really slow now but the one with Dream Studio, I think uh, it takes time, right? It's almost like 30 seconds. But if you ha have endless imagery like this, I don't know if that's going to affect you, your brain somehow. A bit, because it's adding it into your brain, right? <laughs> Maybe it's not, it's not very good. How many images to generate? Let's try four images generate. Okay, that's an, maybe it doesn't work. But we have all these and we can create stories. I don't know. Uh, this is something that you need to try yourself. Long exposure. Fist eye lens. Let's see. That's actually working. Occasionally we have. Okay. Tilt shift. If you want to like blurry have like a blurry background shallow depth of field that's really beautiful i think even though the photograph itself it's not perfect you can always add an artist name you know like by greg rutkowski for example it's gonna start to use face kind of style of Greg Rutkowski or something the lighting become becoming more dramatic or something but you have if you have like make like thousands or ten thousand imagery of this and feed it into your brain pretty soon you, you're gonna have some kind of ideas or imagination about this couple inside a pub I don't know it's a if it's a good thing or not <clears throat> But that's uh yeah basically just what I want to show you with the latest 
Dream uh, Dream Texture on. You can connect it to Dream Studio. Um, even if you just use Intel computer, because it's going to be doing cloud rendering. There's a sa safety filter, of course, but it's really fast, and you're gonna you get have to pay for the credit. In this case, in my demo, I, I have one dollar credit, so I can make maybe a hundred generations. Uh, you can run it offline in render on your machine, but it's gonna be depending on your machine. If you have this under thirty seconds, which is pretty sweet. This actually can be faster. Like if you are using Diffusion B and you just feed the the dream, you're gonna have like a faster experience, but. Uh, whether that's what you want or you just you're happy with just running it locally and have like 100 100 image per one hour or something or even less sometimes slower probably better if you if you do it really fast computer is like crazy it's almost like your brain might actually you might actually reprogram your brain but you are you just type in right you prom you have the prom and you have itself it's still experimental i think some ai tools actually try to do this with like invoke ai you can use nodes just to craft it your prom so you become like a storyteller in a way so a couple eating apples accompanied by this really weird app so for, with just this alone you create a movie right like a story short story so maybe that's the point of this AI tools. If you really uh, want to make animations, be become the next Del Toro or Miyazaki or all the Spielberg famous directors or whatever. Maybe that's gonna help you to do that. Anyway, that's a quick look at uh, Dream Studio Dream Texture add-on. If right, it's still work in progress is pre-release it's a lot of bugs to fix but yeah you can use windows linux it should work i, I haven't tried it i use mac so far so good there's a lot of limit there's a limitation there's sometimes like a like this is it looks like slow but it's actually still pretty fast and i really like the potentials of the ai i know i used to I supposed to do more blendering stuff, but the AI, I feel like it's gonna aid me to what I really want to make. Maybe I supposed to be like a director in a way. I just need to have like assets, actors, music, etc. But the AI may be able to help me to do that. So yeah, that's hopefully some give you some inspiration. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.